Hello and welcome back to the Critic Cuculus. I'm the Monk and we are, of course, in Crusader Kings 3 and we are picking up where we left off from Episode 2 um, and we are in Episode 3 now of our Let's Play series. This is a beginner's guide so I kind of talk about what and why I'm doing it as I'm doing it um, in this game and we are currently kind of trying to conquer more of England. We have created the Kingdom of England now which is absolutely brilliant and we're going to look to expand our lands and potentially stabilize it a little bit more now in the last episode we had a war with wessex which went quite well we took over a chunk of wessex um, and we also currently still have a faction against us which is kind of annoying so we're going to look to um quell that faction and see what we can do differently because we did try a few different things in the last episode that didn't really plan out couldn't get any secrets or any decent ones, unfortunately. And the faction is still around. So I think that's the first thing we should really look at. Um, paying attention to your factions can be quite important. There's a lot to go over when it comes to factions, unfortunately. Um, and this is the culprit in question. And what a git he is, because he's kind of useless on the council. But yet he is a persistent problem at the moment. His son's going to take over most of his land, though. So I think possibly trying to sway him and get on better relations with him is a good idea. So we'll put that plan in motion because, after all, his dad is 57 now. So remember, guys, all about plan tomorrow rather than today, in my opinion. Um... So let's see what his actual problem is. As you can see, he's happy with being on the council. He's happy we've had a long reign. He's unhappy that we've had offensive wars. Um, domestic affairs is a plus two. The autonomous venals is, is a plus ten. Partition is plus five. And liege holds de jour duchy minus 25, which is kind of where the problem is because that's what the faction wants after all. Um so, if we give him his title, give him the Petty Kingdom of Mercia, he should be pretty happy and therefore that faction there should just disappear. Let's have a look-see at that. We are a kingdom, so he's still going to remain um, as our vessel. And there we go. So he also gets a 60-plus opinion of us by doing this as well. There we go. That's actually boosted him to 100 now as well. Um, so, yeah, that works. That works. Let's have a look at this. This should disband, to be fair. If we unpress the pause button, he this should disband. I'm not going to do that just yet because I need to have a little think about what our next move is. So let's hit up the hints. Always handy to have a look there. We have a low control in three counties, which could potentially be problematic in the future. Let's have a look at this one. So that is right here, I believe. Look at the old council. And we have a marshal. So let's increase control over a county. It's going to take seven years, which kind of sucks. Let's look at our wife and see if she can help assist it might help with the time that takes i've just realized that our secrets keeper is not a happy bunny so that's actually something we want to sort out um we was already doing sway attempts for something else but i think this is more important so let's look at that it's going to take a while but i definitely think that's more important we're going to work on finding secrets and I really don't like Wessex right now. So let's look at finding secrets in Wessex. If we can kind of disrupt what they have going on down there, it could be beneficial. Never know what you find out, to be fair. We currently have a fabricated claim going as well for Surrey, which is really good. We want more, more land in Wessex. 
And this dude just really annoys me. Wanting a seat on the council and being completely useless. However, looks like he might be a better master of coin. A better steward. Uh, keep giving old uh, Game of Thrones references, but uh, is what it is. So maybe let's swap them over. Replace. Where do we have? There he is. Replace the Duke. And both positions are better now, which is good. However, there we go. Our son is a lot better at this. So let's do that. There we go. The council is nice and happy. We have powerful vessels in the right places. Um, so I think we're pretty good there. So we've looked at the counties. Titles that can be created, nothing we need to really look at right now. Wars we will look at in a second. We've got some prisoners that we can ransom and some payments that we can get as well. So let's look at that. First of all, we have got a weak hook. Unfortunately, he's too powerful. Weak hooks aren't going to do us too much. We really needed a strong hook. You know, evidence of him breaking the law would have been better. Uh, so we'll just get 50 quid for that. Why not? A demand payment on our own son. Now we're getting on a bit. We're, I think we're approaching 60 years old. Therefore, um, we're not really going to need that. So we can cash in that. How old are we now? 59. We're 59 years old. That's not good. We're going to die soon. So we need to make sure the succession is working. We can potentially um, get a new concubine and have more children. Now, it's actually quite interesting. This one has the giant trait. I quite like the giant trait because although it has the minor health penalty, um, it is a congenital trait which gives us six prowess, which is huge. Um, potentially, we can breed up some decent um, champions there. So we'll try that. See if we see if we get lucky and have any children that way. Prisoners. Let's see who we've got. Hmm. We do have the petty queen of Wessex. And let's have a look. Have a look at negotiate release. We could actually recruit her, which could be interesting. Uh, because she actually has claims. So let's do that instead. She has two claims. So which means that our kingdom potentially gets those claims. So I'm happy with that. Who else do we have? We have a potential money. And we also have some more money. Kind of need gold right now, mainly because I'm looking at our prestige. Our prestige is minus 200. We don't want that. And we have some more money coming in. That works. Who can be imprisoned? Do we have any reason to imprison these people? No. Okay, so let's unpause the game really quickly. There we go. So everything we just kind of got set in motion is now in full effect, which is brilliant. Including getting the claims on that, um, on his wife, which is quite funny. She's now recruited. Um, what else do we need to do? Do we have any lifestyle perks to pop on? We do have a lifestyle perk. And we actually have... You are able to use the Docile Conquest Callous Belt. Creation cost of titles is minus 20%. It's not really useful for us. Um, but we are looking to get the Force Vesselish. So let's try... Likelihood of us managing to get down there um, in this lifetime and make the most of that is probably minimal as our age is getting on. Probably a good idea to have a checkout at Succession as well.
Let's see where we're at. Everything for the most part is okay. Petty Kingdom. And a couple of Eldams. But everything is mostly going over to our primary heir who's going to get the kingdom. We only have one kingdom, so that should be pretty good and pretty happy. Okay, so let's look at our decisions. And I think it's probably time to do a hunt. Go on a hunt. So let's do that. Hunts are pretty good. You never know what's going to turn up. Sometimes you can get some decent perks out of it, which I quite like. And of course, you can also get some decent prestige, which is what we're looking for. Put those tools back on. Oh, we get 50 quid. Yeah, sure. Why not? Or uh, you have a beautiful trophy made for your son. That means that our son will like us. He already does. Yeah, look, he loves us. Absolutely amazing. So we'll, we'll take the cash or thing instead. not actually why we wanted to go on a hunt but you know whatever but the hunt ends we do get 150 prestige which is sweet uh pause the game real quick again go back into decisions and host a feast it's going to cost us 200 but again this is a great way for vessels to, opinions to you know big up i think actually that's a really good tip if you ever have your council and have too many vassals um you know, your bad opinion of you, um, host a feast if you can, because you've got a really good chance of getting uh, their opinions up of you. It's kind of one of the reasons why it's limited to only once every X amount of years. Also, be careful, however, too many feasts could equal obesity. So watch out for that. Uh, the queen gains opinion of, of us. Okay. That's always useful for the queen to like us, I guess. Keep ticking by, seeing what the next event is. The queen becomes our friend. Okay. Or she becomes our rival. Definitely don't want her to become our rival. So yeah, let's let's be friends. Having a queen as a rival is never a good idea. Watch the bedroom, right? Don't want to have any rugs appear in the bedroom. Therefore, you can't hear those assassins. But we did get another 150 prestige, which is great for us. We need all that prestige. Another thing to look at is probably going to be seeing if everyone is all married up. Mainly our two daughters that we had. One is 12, currently unmarried, got no... Um, Nothing in the works so far either. He does have... What is this? Lustful. It's probably problematic. Ooh, inferior? Still, I think a thousand's pretty good. I think a thousand's pretty good when it comes to... Um, extra little alliance right now. Make sure you pick, uh, you click on that matrimonial marriage though when it comes to marrying off your daughters, guys. Very important. And that's not as good, but still it works for now. Also, our daughter had kids. These guys have got a desirable perk that we want to kind of continue. So probably a good idea to make sure these guys actually have marriages set up as well. Sixteen and sixteen, that works out pretty good. And this one's only 10. It's still going to look at Alliance Power. I don't think we're going to turn up anything. All of these are way older. So I guess we're going to go for Inheritable Traits. And a five-year difference just to kind of get someone close. There we go. That will do.
And that's all Kushti. So let's have that all tick over and confirm for us. Nice. So we've been brought in to war. Um, we can accept that. We'll have a look at that in just a sec. Let's have a look, see where we're at. We're already close to winning, apparently. He didn't need the help. I don't know why he spent that money. That was a bit silly. Where is it? All the way up here. That's a huge well away, but we can quickly pop in and get a war score for that. I think helping out when you can, getting free war score is a good idea. You never know. Um, you are rewarded based on your war score anyway. So like I said, if you can help out, you might as well, especially when we're massively overpowering the opponent already. I think a quick and easy win is a good idea. Kind of looking for our money and prestige to build up a little bit anyway, just before we kind of make one last push, one last war, possibly even take over one last piece of land. Ah, we didn't even get a war score. That's it. That's disappointing. That is disappointing. Well, we tried. At least we tried. Okay, so let's look at Wessex. We currently have three months left at potentially getting um, some unpressed claim. But we do currently have a claim of a petty kingdom. We have still got a truce, however, which is problematic. And it's going to happen to you quite often, guys, where you're going to get into wars. You're going to be chipping away at a kingdom um, and forced into a quite a lengthy truce. There are perks you can pick up that definitely help with this. Um, but, you know, just remember you can overrule it. You don't have to honor truces. I do recommend honoring truces, however, but... Um, at this stage in our life, we're quite old. We're literally about to die. Um, we've got, we don't know how long, but, you know, we potentially only have a couple of years left. Therefore, I kind of want to get this over and done with as quickly as possible. Make sure we actually press um, an unpressed claim because when we fabricate claims on wherever you fabricate a claim, just remember that is literally only for now. You know, you don't get to keep that claim after your life. So it's really important to kind of press that claim because if you die and it's unpressed, then that's it. It goes. Um, and we, ha we have to pay in order to get another, you know, unpressed fabricated claim. So let's have a look what's going to happen to us. Uh, I'm not going to like the truce breaking. We understand that. We have a low opinion, 25 um, minus opinion on us. That's fine. And we lose level in fame. Like I said, right now, we're actually sitting pretty pretty anyway. So we're going to declare that war. We're going to gamble. If we end up living for another decade and make it to 70 years old, then this was a bad decision guys a bad decision hands up um, but if we die in the next five years then potentially you know this was a good decision and we're gonna get a decent chunk of land because of it so um let's look so one of our fabricated claims have come back and we've got an unpressed claim for an eldom of surrey i'm gonna say no and i'm gonna have them just keep on doing what they're doing right now Tell you what I am going to do, though. I've just realized they have raised an army and have straight away gone to attack us. Um, pretty matched us in troops as well, so let's have a go. We won that. Nice for us. Stopped them from taking over a piece of land as well. That does mean we got some decent war score, so well done us. And, of course, we chopped up a few of their troops too. Oh, they are back again, though. Let's have a wee quick look, because they are really close to us in power. Um, let's call... Can we call Sweden? We can call Sweden. It's going to cost us, however. That's actually how we got into debt last time. Is we called Sweden. We did. 
that's what happened. I tell you what, let's try and do it without them and see what we can do. We did just get um, their capital though, which is good for us. We'll try this again because we are commanding this army and we have really good martial skills. Um, so I was kind of confident in that battle anyway. Let's go to conquer another piece of land, I think. We got another unpressed claim. We're going to pause it real quick again. I wonder where they're going. They're going back for... We'll get them to try again. Just that's fine. I don't really worry too much when it comes to... Um, when it comes to those traits that are, I have a choice over, you know, what I could have changed then. When it comes to my daughters, I try not to worry too much. If it was my primary heir, um, then that's when I would really worry about the kind of traits and things that they're picking up. There we go. We just got that piece of land, which is good for us. Um, and let's try and stop them once again from claiming this. There we go. We just won once again. Uh, we took a prisoner, which is cool. And how are we looking on this now? We're pretty good. We've conquered two pieces of land. So where else do we want to take over? Now, remember, taking over the capitals are important. Winning the, the battles as well and armies gets you really good war score. But also conquering... Um, so in this case, we're, you know, trying to get particular parts of land. Conquering those places that you're asking for also score you high on war score. So let's try and do that. We've got four months left. Three, two, one, and we had a son. That's fine. I would have preferred a daughter, but a son is absolutely fine. In fact, let's call him... What do we call him? Let's call him Monk Jr. That'll do. Another unpressed claim for a single earldom. Don't really worry about that. Pause it really quickly, though. We just got ourselves another piece of land. Still haven't got the war score just yet. So we're going to try and intercept once again in battle. We also got a lifestyle perk. Let's have a look at that. That will be for the title creation. We're one away from forced vesselage. Again, I'm not sure. Yeah, We're 62 now, so we'll see how we get on with that. Unpause it. And let's have a look at this battle. Have a look at the battle. You can see the man at arms that they have. And they are able to counter our bows. Um, it's really down to us. We have very good leader. I think we're better than their leader, to be fair. Which is why we're able to, to win. Martial skill here is 25, to be fair. And we're 28. Both excellent. Let's take this off and unpause. There we go. We won again, though. We've got another captive. We're really close to winning. Let's go and see if we can take another piece of land real quick. They're trying to retake a piece of land that we already got. So let's counter them and hopefully stop them from getting it back. Oh, did they get it back? Yeah, they went to run. They went to run, so we still retained it. And we just need maybe one more. Maybe one more. We could also look at the prisoners that we've got. We must have got some decent prisoners.
Who is that heir? That's a good idea to look out for. The heir of Wessex. Oh! The petty kingdom of Wessex has got injured. I didn't notice that. That's quite cool. And so this is his heir, his sole child right now. Okay, let's get on with taking over this last castle. Oh, the queen is ill. We don't even have a physician. It's something I do recommend getting early on in the game, to be fair. Reduce the disease symptoms, which is cool. Notice them trying to take a castle back again. But... There you go. The queen's all cured back up again. And we took over the last piece of land. We've won the war right now as well. Let's see if we can just win one more battle. And there we go. Look at that. We've got another piece of land for England. We're doing pretty well now. We've really um, extended our kingdom, which is quite cool. Won another war against Wessex, which is good. Wessex have only got a tiny, tiny piece of land right now. And uh, we still have the fabricating um, a claim on Surrey, which is actually a really big kingdom, potentially. I believe it's like a good chunk of land as well. So I'm going to keep trying to fabricate the claim for the entire um, duchy, or petty kingdom anyway. But yeah, I'm glad we just took over that. That's pretty cool. Um, let's see where we are now. Let's disband our army. No longer need them right now. They've done their job. Um, let's have a look. We have a good number of prisoners, which is cool. Who is this? Let's have a look. She is a countess. She's not under me, and I don't particularly need her. She has no claims either, so we can ransom her off. And let's look again. We have... Oh, we have a prince. That's interesting. Oh, he's the heir as well. He's the primary heir. They do have four sons. That's quite interesting. Oh, he's the heir of Brittany. That's kind of cool, actually. Let's have a look when it comes to negotiate the release. We can recruit him. I like that idea. Could demand conversion as well and get a weak hook all in the one I like that we have a vessel to pay us some money what else have we got another vessel kushti kushti The more money, the better right now. Let them kind of save up for their own release. Bless them. Oh, and we can also arrange a marriage. This must be one of our sons. Again, we'll see if we can get any kind of alliance going. She is a genius, but she's 41, so she's not having any more kids. Um, I think our options, yeah, see, that's what it is. Our options are still rolling over from what we made earlier. So let's change that up. Again, go for alliance. Um, wonder, no real rush. So, yeah, that works. Who is this? That works. 
He's superior to us, so that's a very strong alliance we've just managed to get there. Happy with that, to be fair. Called us straight into war, too. Called us straight into war that he's already winning, interestingly enough. Raise our armies and see if we can get ourselves some quick war score before this uh, <laughs> before this already auto completes. There we go. We won a battle at least. We won a battle when it's over. We got ourselves a little bit of war score. Let's pause that again. There we go. I'm happy with that. I'm actually quite surprised that we've made it to 63, to be fair. Oh, there we go. Look at that. We can actually do a very quick battle um, and conquer, conquer Devon, which would be good. They do have a decent-sized army, though. So what are our options? Well, first of all, I think we should probably move the rally point. I think getting this done quickly is a good op a good idea. Let's pop down here by Stonehenge. Literally just conquer that capital. Maybe one other land, maybe do a win, and we're kind of cushy. Like I said, they do actually have some decent troops. So let's have a look. Oh, actually, their allies haven't been called in just yet. So we have more troops than them, which is cool. Keep an eye on that though. When you can, when you bring up the uh, the actual what's hat, you know, the actual battle on the field, um, you can tell how many troops are in the battle and if they've actually called their allies. As you see right now, he's called his allies. So now we're kind of gelling at the same. The same number of troops. Which is potentially problematic. But we keep an eye on that. We've got money if we absolutely need to um, call in mercenaries. Mercenaries would be a good idea. Or we can call in our allies. Remember, we don't have a huge amount of prestige right now. So if we do call in those allies, it is going to cost us. But one battle win, one takeover, and that's it. We got, we've got Devon. So it was actually ridiculously easy. And there we go, guys. We've just taken a, another piece of England, and we are looking rather cushy right now. Um, all of that within five years. I'm quite happy with that. We are very close to the end of our life, though. Um, but I think I'm going to call this episode here. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Like I said, I'm kind of trying out a Let's Play on the series with this right now because um, it's an absolutely huge game. So I understand that Let's Play series could be potentially problematic. So I'm hoping enough of you are kind of interested and invested enough to keep this series going. If you are enjoying it, don't forget to pop down below. Let me know you're enjoying it. Let me know if you want something Pacific kind of covered and I'll do my best to do that. And of course, don't forget we do have that Discord that you can join and chat about this game too. So the link for that will be down in the description. And again, if you have enjoyed the video and want to see um, an episode four and episode five and continuation, um, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It's the best way to show support and it's greatly appreciated. But until next time, guys, I've been a monk, we've been a Chris and I'll see you in the next video real soon. Until then, happy gaming.